Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to teach you how to animate your Google Classroom banner. So there are three things that you need to have. First, you should have a Bitmoji account. We will be using Google Slides as well. And a Screencastify extension on Google Chrome. Using the Bitmoji app, you could create your own avatar based on your own preferences. So it's up to you how are you going to modify it based on your own liking. Once you are done with your avatar, you can now download the Bitmoji extension on Google Chrome. So just go to Chrome Store and download the Bitmoji extension. So here, you will see this icon and then just click Add to Chrome. Since I already downloaded Bitmoji, you won't see the Add to Chrome link here. So. You will see the Bitmoji icon here once you have successfully downloaded it as an extension. So, clicking onto this icon, if this is going to be your first time, you will be asked to, to link your account in this extension. Since I already did that, what you are seeing right now is my avatar in different animations or in different illustrations. Okay. Second is to make your Google Slides. So this will be the platform that we are going to use to animate our, our Google Classroom banner. So we could start from a blank presentation. Okay, so this is the default size. However, we will not be needing this entire screen. So we are going to set up the page. Click on File and then Page, Set Up, Customize it. Make sure that this is in pixels. Pixels, don't forget that. And change it into 800 by 200 and click Apply. So this is basically the size of the Google Classroom banner. So it's now up to you how are you going to decorate your, your banner. So let's try to remove this text box. So if you have already downloaded pictures that you would like to decorate your, your banner, you could just insert image, upload from computer, or you could even search the web for it. I already have here a slide, which I actually got from a fellow educator. So, hmm. import slides. Let's import this one. All right, so as you can see, this is already decorated, okay? So if you want to add more, just search for images that you can use, okay? So if you want this, I might as well provide you the link. I'll put it in the description box below so you could download it. And credits also to the one who originally made this, the one who shared it to me. All right, so at this point, we are going to copy the first slide. You could use the simple shortcuts like Control c for copy and then control V for paste. Here, we will now be putting our Bitmoji avatar. So let's start with a hello. Okay. Let's try to here. I would I want this one. So just drag it. Right. and then put it somewhere here try to make it a little bit bigger so it looks like the teacher is speaking to the class and saying hi and then and then copy this slide again let's copy it numerous times because we will be needing this uh, more often okay so for the next frame of our animation, we will look for another. We will look for another Bitmoji avatar. So let's try walk here. Drag. So from here. And then copy that and paste it into the next slide. Move it a little, go to the next slide, paste it again, 
and then move. And then at this point, move to the next slide and look for another avatar. So let's say um, a standing position. So Things, here are keywords that you can use to easily find an avatar with no background. So you could try pose or photo. Okay, so we have here photo. Let's say this one. So we could put him here. Waving and then next slide. You could do a little bit of dancing here or cartwheel. It's up to you. Okay, so if you are done with this or if you want to end in a standing position, it's up to you. So I will now show you how the animation is going to take place. So at this point, we will now be needing another Chrome extension, which we call Screencastify. So search for Screencastify. This one. Let's download it and you will see the icon here. It's a pink arrow. So let's go back here in our presentation. Before we click on present, we have to click first the Screencastify icon and we will record whatever will appear on our screen because that is what basically what Screencastify is doing. So click on record. You will be asked what part of your screen should be recorded. It's either your entire screen or you select an application window. Click on that and then share. And there will be a countdown, three, two, one. At this time, we click on present. Just like in PowerPoint presentation, for you to be able to move to the next slide, it's either you press the space bar or the arrow down button. The faster you click it, the faster the animation will be. Otherwise, it will be slower. So let's start. That's it. That's the end of our presentation. So we will now exit, stop sharing, and then you will be redirected to another tab of Screencastify wherein you could trim the video. We want to trim it before the animation starts. So it's not yet here. The first avatar is not yet here. So. Or should it be there? So let's trim it at this point. And also this one at the end, since we ended here. And then, if you're okay with the selection, save trim. Okay, so it's a success. Your video has been trimmed. And then, Lastly, click on download, export animated GIF or GIF, then click on size. You could go up to the maximum it's, if that's what you like. So export and you will see the exporting process on the lower right corner. Okay, so it is now ready for download. Download it. And here, kindly please take note of the file location of this, of this file. So we are already done with that. We should go now to our Google Classroom. Okay, let's create a class. Okay, so basically, you will be having this default Google Classroom banner. So we would want to use the animated one, the one that we did. So to be able to do that, all you need to do is to upload a photo and select it from your computer. So we are going to select the GIF that we did. 
okay and then click on open so it's going to upload all right so it's already uploaded however we should crop the image because part of the screen recording are the black portions of this so we only need this one so once we're okay with the selection select class theme just wait for a couple of seconds so this default classroom banner will be replaced with the animated one and there you have it your Google classroom banner is now animated so I hope you enjoyed watching this video tutorial if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more techie teacher tips